nearly two weeks since we arrived back in Bristol. I'm still sleeping at the Compass Center. From I'm allowed in at 10.30 p.m. Get out at 7.30 in the morning, which means we get waking up from 6.30. All my belongings are locked up. Oh, they're safe, I'm told. But I can't use them. I can't use the computer I bought two weeks ago. It's pretty rough. Living on the streets all the time, nowhere to go indoors, nowhere to warm up, chilled out, very sore, very ill, difficult to get decent food. Craig's pasties and subway rolls. That's pretty much all I've had. This isn't right. There's a man threatening to kill me. Uh, says my dog uh, smashed a bottle of whiskey <laughs> that he dropped. But he wants to kill me and the dogs. The police don't want to take any action. <laughs> I can understand why kill two birds with one stone, wait till he actually kills me and then arrest him. <laughs> yeah, this is rotten. That's all I'm hanging on to. Life's still wonderful, I'm still doing a fantastic amount of good work. I've cleaned an enormous amount of litter and made it very obvious this is how it's done. Well, can only get better, unless it gets worse. <clears throat> the emphysema is very frightening, you know, gasping for breath and pouring with sweat and, and being giving added stress, you know, police showing up to tell me, you can't sleep here, mate. Move, where will I go? Uh, it's not our business. Why don't you go and sleep in a shop doorway down in Stoke Truck? Why don't you go to a hostel? Uh, could end badly. Uh, what a wonderful adventure. I only set out to legalise cannabis. Ended up, I have to... Uh, to legalise cannabis, you've got to indicate the corruption that's in the system. It's been in the system all the time. And things won't really get better until we start cleaning it up. But I know that most people are scared they just want to look after their own little life, their own little job, their own little house and family and motor car. Wallies, <laughs> you're missing the fun in life. This is where it's at. But if we're indoors, we'll be able to share that with all of you. In God's hands, what a wonderful world.